Hello guys, I welcome you to the tutorial series on artificial intelligence and today our topic is blind search math techniques in search methods. Okay, so guys, if you have not already subscribed this channel, do subscribe it and also share it with your friends because that will help them to understand the important concepts of artificial intelligence. And also I am uh, giving the link of the previous lectures in the description box below. So go and check it if you have not already gone through it because that was also an important topic and that was about control strategy. Okay, so let's start our lecture today. So search methods. So why do we need a search method? Of course to search one node or we can say that one uh, particular object okay that may be anything that may be uh, either your place where you want to go or that may be a particular node in a graph okay with different conditions or with different circumstances that object may be or that key object may be anything but for that we need a search method okay so a search method provides a way to find solution for a problem by trying different sequence of actions or operators until a solution is found. So it will try different sequence of actions and operators until we got our solution. Okay, until the goal is achieved that charge method continuously try different sequences. Either it may be actions or different operators. Now this methods actually defined by selecting the order of node expansions in a search tree clear so we have different search methods we need to evaluate their performance for that we need some particular dimensions so different dimensions to evaluate search methods are completeness optimality time complexity space complexity okay so based on this dimensions we evaluate different search strategies okay so first one is completeness means how much probability is there that the search will be completed within finite number of times then optimality means whether you are getting the solution through that uh, search method in an efficient way and or you can say the base possible way that is the optimality then time complexity will give you the total time that may be consumed during the whole searching procedures and space complexity means you know the space required to conduct that search methods so out of them the first two are very important and this time complexity is also important but space complexity is uh, yeah it has it, it is the dimension that we can use to evaluate a search method but basically you know current days space is uh, kind of cheap so we can concentrate only the first three that is completeness optimality and time complexity okay now blind search techniques so you got what is search techniques now blind search techniques by the terms that blind is involved in this search techniques means what that will be an uninformed search this means a blind search also known as uninformed search is a search that has no information about its domain the only thing that a blind search can do is to distinguish a non goal state from a goal state you may note it down that a blind search technique is purely dependent on what to distinguish a non goal state from a goal state just consider this map of Romania you can take a screenshot of this suppose you are currently here at a red and you need to go to that Bucharest now what happens if we produce a search t level level one will have three states Zirain, Shiviu and Timisoara you'll see Zirain, okay Siriu, 
TVU and Timisoara because they are directly connected to your current place. So what happens? Now blind search has no preference that you need to go to either Jirain, either CVU, either Timisoara. Okay, so whatever the way it will take, it will just compare it means compare that state with that goal state means our goal state here will be what Bucharest. if it matches then it will stop the search and give the path to reach that goal state but if it doesn't match then it will continue the searching technique got it here we are not using any particular criteria to evaluate which one is best okay so a blind search will have no preference as to which node it should explore first. Clear. Then why should we use blind search techniques? Because sometimes there may not be any information that we can use. And also we might just be looking for an answer and want to know we have found it until we see it. This is the reason. Because Every time you cannot say that you have information about the goal, means how to reach that goal or what is the possible best way to reach that goal or the domain of information. Okay, then blind search technique is the best option. And you know, you are just looking for an answer, but you don't know exactly that you have already found it until you see it. So that's why we use blind search techniques. Clear. Now, these blind search techniques may form the basis of some intelligent searches. Of course, through a blind search techniques, you will get the uh, a path to reach the goal state and thereby gather the information to reach that goal state from your current state or from the initial state. So based on those information, you can create some other intelligent search techniques because intelligence in the sense that you can use that information to make a better searching techniques. Clear. And also, do remember that we do have different blind search techniques, but these different blind search techniques differ from each other only in the order in which the nodes are expanded. Just from this diagram, you have seen that this Timusoera, CVU, and Jirain. There is no particular preference that you need to evaluate this one or evaluate this one or evaluate this one. So we accordingly we will have different blind search techniques based on whether you are evaluating in this way or you are evaluating evaluating in this way. Got it? So we have different blind search techniques. And they are breadth first search, depth first search, depth limited search, iterative depending search. These are among the few which are very popular. And of course, breadth first search and depth first search are the most popular ones, which I am going to cover in the coming lectures. So, guys, today we have discussed first what is search method, then why this method is needed when we have different dimensions to evaluate different search methods and we have seen that we have completeness optimality time complexity space complexity based on which we can select a good one among a number of different searching methods okay then we come to the blind search technique we define what is blind search technique and then we have seen that these blind search techniques use no preference as to which node from the available ones to be exploded, explored first. And then we have seen that blind search technique is used when we don't have any information to be used for conducting that search. And these search blind search techniques sometimes form the basis of developing some intelligent search techniques okay and we have also seen the different types of blind search techniques now <clears throat> coming to the today's question from this lecture so today's question is depth first search is what type of searching techniques whether is it a normal searching technique means informed search technique or is an uninformed or blind search technique you need to comment your answer and i'll of course go through those comments 
So guys, we'll meet in the next lecture and next lecture will be on bread farsas. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.